Hey everybody, welcome to our next tutorial on how to add animation to your high level funnels and websites. So I'm Pat, Alok is not with us today, um, but we are the high level freaks. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, be able to subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video, share the other notifications, share the likes. Um, whatever you got to do to subscribe and make sure that you get notified when we have a new video and share the love with your other high-level friends. So with that out of the way, we're going to show you how to add really cool scroll animations to your high-level funnels and websites with two very free frameworks and almost no code at all. Okay, so let's jump into it. So as you can see here on my screen, I've got Animate CSS is up and basically what Animate CSS is, is it is a, a style sheet that can take various uh, CSS classes. We'll get into that in a minute if you don't know what that is, but it takes CSS classes and it adds animations to various elements and you have a lot of, ele or a lot of effects down the side that we'll show you in just a second. Uh, the next framework that we're going to use is kind of an old dog here, uh, and it's called WowJS. And basically what WowJS is, and let me just show you what WowJS does. Let's just refresh the page and see how everything pops in, rolls in, does all this crazy stuff here like this. That's what WowJS does. And actually, WowJS doesn't do the animations. Animate CSS does. WowJS just triggers the animations when that element scrolls into view on your screen. So using those two frameworks, we're going to add animation to a funnel. Now let me show you an example of that funnel. And this is what I built for customers so I can sell automated reviews. Now watch this, when I refresh the page, you'll see the button pop up to the top and then I'll scroll down the page and you'll see the animations come in. So it, basically what it does is it's it's nothing that's really, uh, you know, critical to your high level funnels or, 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 or pages, um, but what it does is it actually adds some really nice effects and it kind of just adds a little sizzle to your page and it is used for drawing attention to things, right? So watch this, I'm gonna uh, refresh the page here, you see how the button popped up like that and I'm gonna start scrolling in here or scrolling down and you can see that I've just got various elements that slide in and grab attention to that particular thing here. And you can see the, the headline fades in, the headline fades in, and then down here, oh, and then down here, the button pops up for them to buy and it bounces in, right? So that's basically what we're gonna do with that, uh, with this tutorial. And let me show you what kind of uh, effects Animate CSS can offer. So let's do this, poof, see how it zooms in like that? We have all kinds of attention seekers like bounce, flash, um, rubber band, you know, things that uh, are not natively available in high level, right? So I think you can add, you know, uh, effects like animated effects to the buttons, but really nothing else. Um, so, you know, cool stuff like that. Um, here's some entrances, like here pops in like that. You can back in right, um, you can bounce in, uh, you can bounce in down. I love that one. Um, Bouncing up is a good one when you're scrolling down the page and then you have all kinds of stuff like fade in big um, And then you can do all kinds of crazy stuff now. Here's some really cool stuff like specials like somebody scrolls down um, Check that out. That is a very cool. Like, I love it. It's not you don't want to overuse that one But here's another one jack-in-the-box um, Zoom in down. I love that one because flying in right um, and there's all kinds of other um, effects that you can use with Animate CSS. So how are we going to add that to high level, right? Let's go over to the high level builder here and I've got a funnel and in the comments and in the description you'll be able to actually go and get this funnel share for free. I'm going to give it to you. It's got the code built in. It's got examples built in, right? Let's look at what we've got here. I'm going to I'm going to show you this already pre-built. So you'll see here, poof, those, those uh, elements slide in towards each other and then these slide in, and look at this, I even have a video that slides in, and then we have the button that, of course, slides to, to, you know, bounces up like that. So these are just some basic examples, and I'm gonna show you how to implement this in the page, okay? So the first thing you'll notice in the funnel here is that we have 
um, a script tag. And if you look at this script tag, it's got a little chunk of code in here. And here's the thing, if I'm giving you the funnel share, you don't need to type all this in. This is the only chunk of code that you'll ever see in this funnel, okay? And let's explain what happens. I'm gonna pull this up so we can really see it, right? So this script, what happens is that the first thing, uh, the first step it does is it actually adds the animate CSS uh, style sheet to your funnel. Okay, it adds, it inserts it into the page, and then the next step is it in, it actually inserts the uh, WowJS framework into your page or funnel as well. So it adds it in here. These are the little elements here, or the uh, the commands here that insert your style sheet and your JavaScript. The next thing that we're doing is that since high level is so fast and so incredibly, you know, blazing speed and all that stuff and cached and all that stuff, what we do is we actually set off a little timer here and we wait for WowJS to load. And then once WowJS is loaded, we actually initialize it and then that's it. So the next step in getting these elements to actually um, animate <clears throat> is that you actually have to add, like over here with this, like with animate CSS, you see these, these uh, descriptions where it says like shake X, shake Y, um, bounce in, bounce in down, that sort of thing. Those are actually CSS classes that we have to add to the elements in our page. So to do that, you'll notice that, remember like when, you know, on this one here, these elements come sliding in towards each other. So the one on the left, the text on the left is, is uh, sliding in right or sliding in left and the other one, the image on the right is slide in right. So let's look and see what that looks like. I'm gonna basically click on this uh, column here and if you go over here and look at it uh, on the advanced tab, you'll notice that the custom class says wow and fade in left. And it's important to know that when you, when I type in fade in left, I'm typing in in camel case. And that's basically um, every word is got a capital letter at the beginning of it. So if you'll notice this fade in left, let's look over here um, on the fades and let me see finding it here. See where it says fade in left? That's what I'm using right there. That effect is what I'm using. And so I'm adding wow as the class and then fade in left. And then over here on this element, I'm adding wow and fade in right, okay? And then same thing here on these elements. Now on the video element, I come in here, I'm clicking on just the element and I'm going over here to the advanced and looking at the, the custom class and I'm saying wow zoom in down. Now let's look and see what that effect looks like. And watch this. Poof, there comes the video. It comes flying in, right? So that is what um, WowJS and Animate CSS do for high level. Now I am gonna say this like for, your, for you nerds and the code heads, um, animates uh, CSS. I'm using the old uh, old framework, the compatibility, the backwards compatible framework, and I'm using WowJS because High Level's uh, editor doesn't allow us to do you know like data elements and, and crazy stuff like that with you know the, the built-in elements. So we have to use CSS classes. So we're using some backward compatibility with some older frameworks, but you can see that the effects are working quite well, right? So that is how we add animations. Now, here's something else that you can do with Animate CSS. If we scroll down uh, to their documentation, you can ignore a bunch of this stuff. Don't worry about it. It's, it's lots of crazy, you know, extra code that you don't need to worry about. But if I want to do utilities, like let's say I want to delay the, the animation by a couple of seconds, what I want to do is this is this is the new version of Animate CSS, the animate underscore delay two seconds that you would add. Instead, I'm only going to copy that, right? So let's say I come over here and I want to delay this top animation by two seconds. What I would do is I'd click on it, go to the advanced, I make sure it has wow, fade in left, and then I would add delay two seconds and hit enter. And I do the same over here advanced, delay two seconds, and then I'm gonna save the page. Let's see if the page saves. Now watch this, if I scroll up to the top and I refresh, it's gonna take a couple of seconds before the animations pop in. Watch this. And there they are. So now you can see that you can add extra utility to your animations to delay it. Um, you can actually animate it slower. So let's see if I do like slow. 
So I'm going to add slow to that animation as well. So not only am I going to wait two seconds, I'm also going to say animate nice and slow. And actually, let's I'm going to only animate one slow so you can see what the difference is in the animation. So let's refresh that and watch this. That's going to be two seconds. And that one comes in a little bit slower. See how that worked? That's fantastic how you can add that. And then if you wanted to, you could actually do repeat like however many times you want it to repeat or repeat infinitely. So if you wanted something to just jiggle or bounce or something like that forever, you could do that. I wouldn't really suggest it. The thing is like with animation, less is more. Just having some, some nice subtle elements come in on the page really adds a nice touch to the page. But if you just animate everything, it's going to be pure chaos and people are not going to stay on the page and it's just it it, it will probably hurt your conversions and things like that so <clears throat> be very very prudent and and very uh, uh stingy with the animations on the pages you don't want to animate everything right so that is how you do animations it's really really simple um, to add animations to your pages and animate all these different or animate all these different elements inside the high level pages so uh, if you want this this exact funnel share, I'm going to oh, uh, uh, give you a link where you can actually go and download the funnel share and mess with it yourself. It's going to have documentation in it, and so uh, you'll be able to add animation to your uh, pages. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, like, share, notify, tell your friends, tell your family, you know, get everybody in here to view this video so they can actually have better high-level funnels and web pages. All right, have a good one.